Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my Budget Beauties Project Pair and Collab. I'm doing this with a bunch of ladies from the Pantastic Facebook group and I will have that linked down below if you want to join. There's some questions and stuff like that but it's very very easy. You just don't need to be a robot, basically. <laughs> I have finished two items since my last update and I have added in two new items to keep working on my stuff and get some products out of my collection this year. I'll show you the empties and then progress and then the items I'm going to add in. The first item I have finished is my Maybelline Dream Wonder Nude Foundation and in the intro I was up to here, last update, and now I have finished it. There might be a tiny tiny bit left but I really can't reach it. You, you see there's nothing on the applicator and this is so liquid that I just don't want to stick the last thing out because I'm pretty sure there is not enough for one application on my face anyway. Then I have finished my W7 lip twister and I finished this in like a week, <laughs> maybe a few days. After my last update I will give you a swatch. I have some swatches from another video I just did and as you can see it is completely gone. And this is the color right here. It is more cool tone but I really really liked it paired with the pale pink lip liner I have in my finished 13 by Sancto Lucia. I love, 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 love this lip liner and this line especially. And this is in the color Nude and I had the foundation in 10 Ivory. This was a perfect match for the summertime. I'm paler than pale, so this is my summer shade. So for my lip liner progress, here it is. <laughs> I hope you can see that. So first update I made a ton of progress and then I finished it off. This was very very easy to go through because it's very creamy but it's long lasting so you are going to reapply a few times a day but not all the time. Let's take this one. This is the most exciting one. This is my Gosh nail polish in 602 Mystical. I was up here in intro, first update, and now I'm down to here. It seems like I haven't made that much progress, but I haven't really used it only a few times. But it is so thick and goopy and I can only use it for my toes. When I applied it for a manicure on my nails, it was so goopy and thick that I just couldn't. So I applied it on my toes because I really don't care about my toenails right now because it's winter and autumn here in Denmark and you really only wear boots now. I will try until the next update to use this on my toes and let's see how I do. I'm pretty sure I can finish it by next update but yeah, I'm pretty excited to have a nail polish done very very soon. Then I have my elf cream eyeshadow in pewter. This is a very very dark silver color. I will insert some progress pictures right now so you can see where I was and where I am. I have a massive massive dip in this cream eyeshadow. I'm not sure if you can see it on the pictures. It's amazing how much product there is in this but I have realized when I have used it this past month sometimes um, when I stick my brush into it there are the small pieces of product crumbling off. So it's getting dry. It is close to like five years. I bought it in like 2012. Ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm getting my use out of it and it wasn't very expensive so I'm not going to lose that much money if I can't finish it. But I really want to finish it. But it's so hard to pull off <laughs> in the weekdays but I'm trying my best. Then for the two items I'm adding in, the first one is a lip twister from W7. It is the color Nude Dude so it's a bit darker. Oh actually it's slider. Kind of the same color, but this is more light than nude. So it comes with a good amount of product, but again, if I use this every single day, which I'm pretty sure I will because it's fall. There I am right now. There's a lot, but not really. I love this lip twister and I have a lot 
but I can go through them fairly quickly. The last item I have is my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Yeah, in shade 01. I'm pretty sure it's porcelain. So I have shined my light through and I'm pretty sure I'm all the way down to here. When I need to apply this, I'm going to scrape the sides. I have not yet taken the stopper out, but I'm pretty sure I will buy next update or after the next update. Very excited that it's almost gone because I'm only down to here. I don't see it as an issue that I have added into my products because I'm pretty sure I can finish these two in the next few months. The stretch will be this one. I'm not sure if I can finish this, but I'm trying my hardest. I really am. And I really try to wear it most of the days of the week, but I have just added in a cream shadow in my rolling pan. But that is for the more natural days, and this is for the more darker days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel down below to follow up on this project and follow along my other projects I do on my channel. And yeah, follow my social media. I'm much more active on there than I am here. Please take care until my next video. Bye guys!